So, uh, we're going to be finally doing some splicing today. Um, got my 48 count cable that runs across town. Um, so we, basically we, this is our, uh, feed coming into the town, um, that we have through Maryland broadband. Um, that, that'll be our first connection, um, out of here. So basically we built this about, uh, let's call it a thousand feet or so. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we built, we built this guy about a thousand feet that then connects to a place where you can lease fiber going down the highway and we're leasing, uh, cause it's, it's, it's no more reliable to have two fibers and you get some benefits, but, uh, for the point of a ring that we're trying to accomplish single fiber is what we're getting, um, off this. So today what I'm going to do is I'm only going to be splicing four, I'm going to splice the first four fibers in the cable. Um, and I, I would say it's probably a possibility we get a second fiber, but it's very rare that we would ever get a third for, for this. We would, we would not do that. We would get another vendor, uh, instead. It would make more sense. Um, it's been probably two months since I've done any splicing. Uh, so I got my stuff charging. It's just been, uh, not doing a whole lot, uh, for me. Uh, riding around in the car, uh, gonna get a, get it all set up and then here in this guy, we will, um, pretty much just be using an entire 24 count tray, uh, in here. I'm just going to burn the four and then I'm going to put my patch panel right here. Um, and then I will pretty much leave that one off to this side. Then when we run a 90 or 96 count cable. Um, it will come in on this side, uh, and that way I'll always have space. So I don't know um, what what's what. And they did give me those fancy labels. Uh, and this is the DWDM uh, that we're going to be um, using C45 today. I do have the optic, um, but like a dummy, I didn't bring the correct uh, patch cable. I could have swore it was up here. Um, so yeah, I'll go ahead. I'll get uh, set up and. Uh, get my cable prepped uh, over the ladder um, and down uh, into this guy. I'll figure out the best way to handle that. Um, and the heat's on working now, so I can lose some of these layers. Uh, I do miss um, splicing uh, for the most part because of the shorts. Uh, nobody likes uh, 15 layers. So cool. Well, I'll go ahead. I'll get set up and we'll take a peek at what we're doing. All right. <clears throat> this is not an armored uh, cable. So this should go pretty quick. And like I said, it's been two months. I've just been uh, been digging mostly. I think I just need a new blade here. Oh, she's holding on for dear life. Oh God, I remember this. This is some stupid ass cable. <sighs> There's no rip cord. I forgot about that one. All right, let me see what let me see what quick way tools I got for that.
All right, well. Poop. This is that, I don't even know what it's called, fast, ac fast access. Yeah, fast access technology. I don't understand what it means, but <clears throat> it means it takes a long ass time to get into it. Well, I don't have a tool. I have a tool that you can put on the cable and strip down it, um, but we don't do this very often. This is just like some remnant cable. when you're going too far. try something actually. There's this weird rib on this. All right, so let's kind of show how that turned out. These are the 45 millimeter um, heat shrinks. That's the 60, so I really like using that now. It makes me pretty happy. And uh, what I'll do, there's some pieces that need to get put on here. Um, there's a rubber gasket that goes right here, and there is a tension um, little torque thing uh, that goes there as well. Um, looking at this now, I forgot that you could go in the top, but that would then limit me from adding another. Um, so cool. What I'll do is I'll go ahead, I'll, uh, let's get that on there. We'll get a tray in. Um, Guy slides out for fun. So cool. All right, uh, just give me a minute and I'll assemble my missing pieces. I hope they're all here. There's a screwdriver that comes with it. Uh oh. Did I get carried away throwing stuff away? Now, nah, here it is. Cool. So gonna show you how that turned out. So I got my spare tubes that will pretty well never get used. Um, and they just continue um, moving up and up and up as I add trays. Um, I burned my four fibers, got my uh, OTDR hooked up uh, to it. And I already shot it once, but let's do it one more time. So I got it on automatic. It changes itself to 40. And uh, there's a couple splices. Um, there's a couple splices on this that aren't mine. And on the far end, it's just a straight cut, too. So, All right, so um, at 5.457, that's the first splice. That's um, basically where our cable meets Maryland Broadband. Um, 1.07. This is a patch cable um, that's located in the hut. Uh, um, yeah, this is a patch cable that's located in the hut. Uh, but yeah, just trying to go off the distance. Um, then this one here is in my um, uh, facility. Let's see where it's got that loss and they're like 50 feet apart. That's basically my fibers just laying on the ground there. So um, these two, I think these two events right here are kind of getting uh, mashed together or there's like a little bit of a reflection uh, that's taking place there because I've shot this a few times. So we got 26 kilometers. I'm going to put a 40 kilometer optic on that. 
And uh, I got to get some straps because we're going to have 10 cables coming up this wall. Um, and then uh, I just buried my slack right there, but I might end up changing that. I think I'd, I don't know, I think I'd rather it be on the wall than cluttering this ladder up. Uh, and I just got to throw a few zip ties on there so she's not uh, rolling. And I did come in here a little hot, um, but there's nothing wrong with that. There's not an armored cable, so, uh, yeah. All right. Well, I hope uh, everybody enjoys my four splices. Uh, and again, one is guaranteed. One might be used. Two will never be used. That's just, this was just to get us on online because I got, we got customers waiting uh, at this point. Um, I did get uh, my optic uh, here is in. Um, that's the uh, uh, channel uh, C45. Then on my other side, I'm going to be using C21, uh, which I have uh, right somewhere. Uh, oh, right here in front of me. Duh. Um, so cool. Uh, just for mental note, Bryce, you need to bring Velcro back. And I need two um, LC to LC patch cables, uh, three feet. Let's call it three, three, three to five feet. Um, and I think I'll probably bring, yeah. All right, well, cool. So Kirk wants me to help him run some cable. Uh, it's 12 o'clock, so that's pretty much setting me up for a shitty uh, night, I know, for a fact. So uh, when Kirk asks you for help, mm, 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 mm. It's like a 99.999999% chance uh, something, uh, something, something's going on. So I don't know if there's going to be much to show on that, but if there is, I'll try. <laughs>